Peace from Moon, aka Vacaso Originals. Peace, I'm Will, aka 80 Grams. Uh, pretty much born and raised in Port Chester, New York, 10573. Um, so I definitely grew up in the uh, 70s, late 70s, uh, um, you know, early 80s, going into that 90s era, uh, which was a very uh, eclectic era. I'm South Norwalk, born and raised, I'm from my NCT. I've been a Bridgeport resident for about over 15 years now, so, you know, I'm here. I'm, I'm a part of, the, part of the concrete at this point. Uh, we discover art in the house at a very young age. Um, I discover art the first time I heard Michael Jackson. You know, I was like, who, what? Hold on, stop. You know, and this was, this was at an age before we could even, you know, conceptualize. You know, so, you know, art first and foremost is through music. Um, it could come, it could come through um, many different forms, but a lot of times we're introduced to it at a very young age through music. Uh, when we hear that music, um, what happens is it inspires us or makes us feel something, and off that feeling is the creation of art, of expression. Um, so through music, that's when I find that I pick up a pencil or a paintbrush and when I create, I'm always listening to music as my backdrop um, because that's the form of art that influences myself as an artist. Actually, um, I, I would say my, my biggest sort of push or my memories when, when art really, I mean, like, like Ramon was saying, it's, it's always been sort of ingrained from a young age, drawing with your boys or, you know, creating comics, doing this and that and the third, but, being from outside of the city, uh, being a suburb kid, it was different uh, experience, like even traveling into the city and seeing the graffiti in the tunnels and um, on the drive up, the Metro North rides up, it was, I just remember the flashes of art being glued to the window and then that started my whole love for just taking the expression to another level, taking it to a larger scale, taking it to different walls, different you know, uh, uh, levels as far as you know, developing your talent. Um, so it was, it was definitely graffiti that brought me to the point of really getting into trying new things, trying new styles, and you know, ways of going about the art period. I, I don't, I don't think the question was really how. Uh, the question, for I think, more or less was, you know, are you sure you're ready to get into something as big? Uh, because I think in a sense it's, it's still even growing to a point where it's much bigger than what we really even realize, you know, being in the midst of it this past two months, building this thing, you know, crazy hours, uh, just everything's got blood, sweat, and tears in it, let's just put it that way. So, you know, I, I, I think it was more so, are you like really ready to take this on and like, you know, how are we going to manage this, this level of responsibility with everything else? And it, it might not been, it, it was more of a, um, we didn't plan this. Right. Um, so, on top of it. <laughs> um, we planned everything else, right. you know, and we did have a plan, um, but it wasn't this. Um, so, the question is, is were, you know, was the universe calling us to our ease or were we called to, you know, that's a thing and that's what we talk about amongst ourselves um, is the fact that this literally kind of dropped out the sky yeah, and, definitely. you know, you could call it, some would call it God's plan, some others would call it fate. Um, you know, there's different terminologies that we use as a people, um, but what was this really? What can our East be in the whole scheme of things? And why were two brothers from different sides of the universe called together to try to make this happen? Um, and 
we took the challenge. We took on the call and sacrificed everything behind the scenes. Uh, that's family. This was uh, friendships. This was uh, a lot of things that we sacrificed um, to do. And it was all of risk. It's all of, uh, it's all of just a, you want to say leap of faith? It's a leap of faith. Um, because we believe that um, not our people, people in general, humans in general, need something like this and could benefit from something like this.